welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, I'm the Tiny Vegan. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. So I'm sorry about my absence on here. I literally didn't upload a video for about three weeks because I lost my laptop charger, which meant that I couldn't upload a thumbnail, which is a big mess up. And then my last video, which went up, which was reacting to assumptions people have about vegans. So if you haven't seen that, I'll leave it on the screen. Go check it out. Because it was definitely an interesting one. And boy, oh boy, did I have a lot of comments to sift through because people had so many assumptions of things that have been said to them as vegans. I feel like it was a bit of venting as well, getting off their chests to other vegans. So in today's video we're doing sustainable and vegan deodorants. Although I wouldn't categorise myself as a smelly person, I've always found that when I wear deodorant I smell 20 times worse than if I wasn't to wear deodorant. So I basically went through a phase of not wearing deodorant at all, but the run-of-the-mill deodorants, so like the supermarket own brand ones, just the antiperspirant kind of deodorants that are vegan but they don't work like i have not found a run-of-the-mill deodorant which is like a normal deodorant that you just get off a supermarket shelf that has actually worked in the slightest and my boyfriend hasn't either like his deodorants never work but he just puts it on because it's like a routine that you just put deodorant on but we've had like ones from like morrison's own brown ones tesco own brown ones we've had cn the Lidl own brand because that's a um, cruelty free make and some of them are vegan so we've literally just tried tried so many different deodorants and none of them worked. Then I tried when I was younger faith in nature deodorants. So my mum doesn't buy anything like aluminium containing and she doesn't like antiperspirants. She wouldn't buy that for me. She wouldn't buy like a run of the mill deodorant. It's always been a natural and then naturally vegan deodorant. A faith in nature deodorant. I think it was a chamomile one. And when I say it did nothing, like I mean I genuinely think it made you smell as bad as run of the mill deodorants. Like it didn't do anything at all. So since then, I've not, not ever tried using a natural deodorant or anything like that because I just thought they didn't work. I then tried a few years later the Lush deodorant, which is like a block, and the one that I tried quite a few years ago. And it was, it's vegan and cruelty free as, mo as all Lush products are cruelty free. So I tried that and it was horrible. Like, sorry Lush, but it was horrible. <laughs> it's like... It's like a block, but it's basically just hardened bicarbonate of soda is what it feels like. And it's so rough on your underarm, it makes them feel so sore. I actually think I used that deodorant three times or something, and I actually couldn't use it anymore because it made my... Your underarms are so sensitive, it made them really sore. So I couldn't use that because it was just too rough. So I've not bothered trying any deodorants like that, and natural deodorants. I hadn't tried it for years. Until, for some reason, I came across this brand, which is the Native Unearthed. So this actually also featured in my sustainability tips videos because it's changed the game for me. So this is the Native Unearthed Sage and Lavender. I've also tried the Activated Charcoal, which basically smells like lavender. And then I've also tried a Coconut and Vanilla one, which all smell absolutely incredible. It's about six or seven pounds from Holland and Barrett, which is where I got these from. But it's absolutely incredible. My boyfriend, who, sorry, <laughs> sorry if you're watching this, sometimes can smell. And that's using deodorant. This deodorant, honestly does not smell at all and even he will say it's 10 times better than any other de deodorant he's ever tried that's including run-of-the-mill antiperspirants which are meant to stop the smell completely but how it works it's a bit warm in here so it's already partially melted so you get it like this but when it's cold today so if it's in the winter it will be like a hard clump in there if that makes sense it'll be like a solid solid deodorant so what you want to do you want to get that on your finger and you want to work it into your palm until it turns into that consistency till it's like a liquid like that so then from that, you want to scoop it off with your finger and then you just apply it to your underarm. You only need a pea-sized amount of this. So actually, if it's one of you using it, it will last you for ages. Such a good deodorant. I cannot recommend it enough. And yes, you are spending quite substantially more on natural, more sustainable and vegan deodorants, which actually work. You, although you're spending a bit more, I just, it's worth it. Like I continuously, I'm in a state of saving. Like I don't like spending money. And yet this is something that I will happily splash out on. I will sting on shampoos, conditioners, other toiletries, but deodorant, like when it's something personal like that, which literally makes you smell, I feel like it's something that you shouldn't sting on if nothing's working for you. So if you're struggling with deodorants and like stopping you from smelling, 
get this, it's the best thing. When I got onto the train of trying the natural deodorants, my sister actually bought me this one, which is a wild deodorant, which I'm sure you've all seen advertised because it's just gone mad and like advertised everywhere. So it comes in this holder and I think it's about the same price for the refills as it is for a pot of this. So the refills come in, it's a compostable little thing which clips inside this case and you use it like a roll on deodorant and then you just squeeze that together which will then lift that up and you take it out and then you just replace it with another one. And I think it's about five, six pounds for a replacement. This worked really well as well. The problem I found with this though is because it is more solid and with this you sort of work it into your hand until it becomes a nice liquidy, more liquidy consistency and therefore it's very gentle on your underarms. This isn't, I wouldn't say because this more like the lash deodorant in the consistency it's 20 times better and thousand times more gentle it is very gentle because it's not got like sort of harsh lumps in but it still is a little bit harsher on your skin if it's a cold day so that is the only downside i have to this apart from that it's absolutely incredible worked exactly the same and to the same level almost as the native on earth native on earth is still my favorite and probably will always be my favorite now but it's definitely worth trying i love the fact that it's like a proper roll on as well because that this can leave white stains on your clothes so be careful of that and that is problematic at least with this because it doesn't melt that much you don't get those white stains which i really appreciate the thing i love about the glass containers is I always keep things and then I just take this label off and I store, store things in it. So although this creates more waste than this, I actually do make use of the of the pots so it doesn't really bother me that much. But this, because the little insert is fully compostable, that is amazing because then all you're doing is creating waste for the compost and then this you just keep buying the refills for. So this does create less waste than this one. So if that's something you're mindful of, that might help. So the next one we've got is the Body Shop White Musk Deodorant. This one is vegan. Not all Body Shop deodorants are vegan. I think there's only about two which are vegan. They don't do many deodorants anyway. And it smells absolutely incredible. I actually have the Body Mist and the perfume in this scent, White Musk, because it's so nice. And their musks are vegan, so don't worry about that. This is actually really good. It's a roll-on deodorant, so it's very liquidy, so therefore it is more gentle on your underarms if you have sensitive skin. Um, they also do a, a deodorant for sensitive skin as well. I think it's a it's an aloe vera or something like that, so it's unscented and it is meant for sensitive skin and that is also vegan. I can't comment on that one because I haven't tried it, and it does work. In my opinion, it doesn't work to the level that these two do, but it still works 20 times better than any other deodorant I've used. It's definitely worth splashing out a little bit more. I think it's a couple of pounds more for the first two than it is for this one. I think this is about four pounds. So it is worth getting, but it is in a plastic container. That is the problem with this one. These others obviously are either fully compostable or you reuse the containers. But this, I think you can recycle. Again, it's just a bit of unnecessary waste and I do appreciate that. And you know what? I literally just read it here now. And it has, says that it contains aluminium. I could have sworn the Body Shop ones didn't. But if it contains aluminium, change of plan. I will not be buying this again. But if you like the Body Shop, you'll not bother about the aluminium. It's a vegan deodorant and it does work. Uh, just not quite as effectively as the other two. The last one that we have is this Cootis. Is that how you say it? This I got from a plastic free shop in Wales somewhere when we went on holiday and this one was £6.50 but it was a very small independent shop so I'm not sure if it might be a little bit more expensive because of the shop that I bought it from. So this is a completely natural deodorant. This does not contain aluminium like the other two don't but that one from Body Shop does. It smells really good. I chose the orange and patchouli because I like the smell of patchouli but it's quite a musky woody smell so if you don't like things like that they do have other loads of other scents which also smell amazing and it's really good it does work but again much like the wild deodorant it's a firm and consistency and you can't break it down to make it soft so it can be more harsh on your skin still very gentle but more harsh than the than the native on earth deodorant which is very gentle and this specifically says don't apply to broken skin or after shaving they all say broken skin but this says after shaving i'm guessing because your skin is just more sensitive then and you do have to rub this on especially if it's a cool day and it's gone a little bit harder it does work as a deodorant very well just as effectively as the other two every time i've needed a new deodorant for like the past year or something i've been buying a different make of deodorant just to try it out so that then i can review it for you guys and i can also ascertain which is the best natural deodorant which doesn't contain aluminium is not an antiperspirant is vegan and cruelty free and better for the environment and my conclusion would be that this is 
the best deodorant I have found. The wild deodorant would have to come second because I love the fact that it's a reusable container. I like having this, it's a bit more permanent and looks a little bit nicer in my opinion. Then this is definitely the third because I really like this deodorant but it is just a little bit more hard like this one which means that this one definitely wins. But I like the fact that this is literally cardboard so it's compostable and it's a lovely eco deodorant. And if you're wondering how you use this, take off the cap and then you push up from the bottom and it moves the deodorant up if you're wondering. And then last this one because it just doesn't work as effectively. So I've also been thinking about making my own deodorant, homemade deodorant, because usually it takes very simple ingredients. Um, I think usually it's like bicarbonate of soda, arrowroot and like a scent, like lavender or whatever you wanted. So I might try and make that. Let me know if you'd like to see a video on that. I might make it into like a YouTube shorts video or something like that, just as a quick one to be like, oh, this is how I'm going to make this deodorant and do a little review and see if it works. So if that's something you'd like to see, make sure you let me know in the comments section, because I will definitely make that if that's something you'd like to see because it will save money it's better, definitely better for the environment because you've not got any packaging and i can just pop it in one of these to reuse it don't forget to follow me on instagram as well because i do loads of content on there usually it's food so if you like seeing what a vegan eats go and follow me on there so i hope you all enjoyed today's video reviewing the best sustainable vegan and cruelty free deodorants and if you did don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss another video i hope you all have a lovely day a lovely week and i will see you in the next video